Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, have we found a way to be honest with ourselves today? March 29th, thought for the day. Before I met AA, I was very dishonest. I lied to my spouse constantly about where I had been and what I'd been doing. I took time off from my work and pretended I'd been sick or gave some other dishonest excuse. I was dishonest with myself as well as with other people. I would never face myself as I really was or admit when I was wrong. I pretended to myself that I was as good as the next person, although I suspected I wasn't. Am I now really honest? Meditation for the day. I must live in the world and yet live apart with God. I can go forth from my secret times of communion with God to the work of the world. To get the spiritual strength I need, my inner life must be lived apart from the world. I must wear the world as a loose garment. Nothing in the world should seriously upset me as long as my inner life is lived with God. All successful living arises from this inner life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may live my inner life with God. I pray that nothing shall invade or destroy that secret place of peace. We lie to everyone when we are in active alcoholism, especially ourselves. We can stop any time we want, we say. We know deep down that this is not true, but we sell it hard to others, and we hope to ourselves that it can one day be true. The first lie is the hardest lie, and then the follow-up lies are easy and necessary to keep up appearances of the main lie. We started as people who would lie to cover up something. We progressed into people that were liars. We lied when the truth would have been better, yet we lied. We almost derived power from it. We used lying as a shield. We became expert gaslighters, confusing and frustrating everyone in our orbit. We confused ourselves. We didn't know who to trust. We didn't know who was trustworthy. We were untrustworthy, and our lives spiraled down. The yets, the lines we told ourselves we would not cross, were obliterated one by one. We became that person we said we would never become. Since finding a higher power and sobriety in Alcoholics Anonymous, we found a way to be honest. Slowly, we had to learn new behavior and thinking. Slow progress with a solid foundation of that being the steps. We stopped lying to ourselves first. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol. We truly surrendered. The evidence was clear and convincing for a long time. Now our eyes had been opened. Our sponsors tell us we have a solution if we are willing to believe. We trust him and do a little work. We pray for the willingness to continue, and we keep working the steps and our faith grows. Now, after some time trusting in the process and our higher power, our lives have improved emotionally, spiritually, and often financially. Mostly, we are at peace with where we are. We are grateful now and not resentful. We give credit to our higher power for our sobriety, which leads to our rebirth into a solid person with integrity. We are participants in life today with our higher power by our side, inside us in every situation. Together, 
our motives are clean and our actions are based on seeing how we can make situations better, how we can be considerate of others and lessen the amount of selfishness that we interject. Consider, have we found a way to be honest with ourselves today? March 29th, thought for the day. Before I met AA, I was very dishonest. I lied to my spouse constantly about where I had been and what I'd been doing. I took time off from my work and pretended I'd been sick or gave some other dishonest excuse. I was dishonest with myself as well as with other people. I would never face myself as I really was or admit when I was wrong. I pretended to myself that I was as good as the next person, although I suspected I wasn't. Am I now really honest? Meditation for the day. I must live in the world and yet live apart with God. I can go forth from my secret times of communion with God to the work of the world. To get the spiritual strength I need, my inner life must be lived apart from the world. I must wear the world as a loose garment. Nothing in the world should seriously upset me as long as my inner life is lived with God. All successful living arises from this inner life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may live my inner life with God. I pray that nothing shall invade or destroy that secret place of peace. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.